हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स इन दिस व्हिडिओ सिरीज आय एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द कन्सेप्ट ऑफ बायनरी सर्च ट्री इन दिस व्हिडिओ सिरीज आय हॅव कव्हर्ड द फर्स्ट व्हिडिओ विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू इंट्रोडक्शन रिप्रेझेंटेशन अँड ऑपरेशन्स दॅट कॅन बी परफॉर्म ऑन अ बायनरी सर्च ट्री द नेक्स्ट व्हिडिओ आय हॅव कव्हर्ड द कन्सेप्ट ऑफ हाऊ टू क्रिएट द बायनरी सर्च ट्री अँड हाऊ टू इन्सर्ट अ नोड into a binary search tree with solved examples then i have covered how to perform search operation on to the binary search tree and then the next video was about how to perform delete operation on to the binary search tree how to delete a particular node that i have explained with two separate solved examples and different cases and in this current video i am explaining you how to perform display operation on a binary search tree so to learn more about binary search tree and the data structures i would like to request you to stay tuned with my channel tech talks for the same please subscribe my channel tech talks and keep the bell ringing now let's start with the concept of binary search tree as all of you are knowing binary search tree is having a special behavior having a special characteristic that characteristic is nothing but the node if it is a left child then it must be having a value which is less than its parent value and a node if it is a right child then it must have a value which is greater than a parent value for your reference i am providing you a example of the binary search tree here and you can compare the value of every left child with its parent and every right child with its value of the parent and you will understand the concept of binary search tree these many operations we can perform on a binary search tree already the first operation create how to insert a node how to perform search operation and how to perform delete operation on a binary search tree that i have explained in my previous videos so if you want more details you can go through that and then you can resume this video now let's focus on the display operation on a binary search tree so display is nothing but the traversal operation we'll see how to perform the display or the traversal operation of a binary search tree display operation will help you to display all the nodes of your binary search tree in a specific order there are two ways in which we can display the binary search tree is nothing but depth first search traversal and the second way is breadth first search traversal depth first search traversal is also called as dfs traversal and the breadth first search traversal is also called as bfs traversal these are nothing but the ways to display the all the nodes of a binary tree yes we can use both the ways for the traversal of the binary tree any of the binary tree you can traverse with these two ways so let's start the traversal of a binary search tree with the first example from these two ways let's focus on the first one depth first search traversal technique that traversal technique we can traverse the tree the said tree into these three different orders from which let's focus on the first one which is nothing but the pre order traversal the more details about these three traversal technique i have already covered on my channel for your reference i am providing you a shortcut link in this write up corner with which you will come to know all the details with many solved examples for all the three traversal let's focus on a pre order traversal where we supposed to follow the sequence that is a root node then a left subtree and then a right subtree so let's consider this is the constructed tree with me and i have to traverse the tree into the pre order traversal as we know that for the pre order traversal we have to follow the sequence a root node then a left subtree and then a right subtree let's start with a root node as it is a pre order traversal we supposed to traverse a root node first so that's why process it then move to the left child and 
make it as a root node and display it or, or the process it again let's check for its left child as it is present make it as a root node and display it again for 19 left child is present make it as a root node and display it as now for node 8 current root node 8 no left child is present no right child is present we will return back to 19 and we'll check for its right child as it is present we will process it return back to the previous level 25 let's check for its right child as it is present step down to right child make it as a root node and process it for 36 as no left child no right child is present return back to previous level check for its right child as it is present make it as a root node and process it after that let's check for the 65 as no left child is present check for its right child step down to the right child 86 and process it and after that for 86 you can see over here its left child is present step down to right left child and process it so in this way the given tree we have traversed into the pre-order traversal let's focus on the second technique is nothing but in order traversal where we have to follow a sequence root node will be in between of the left child and the right child respectively so follow the same sequence let's start with the root node and let's move to the leftmost child of your tree and as for 8 the 8 is don't have any left child so process the root node so in order traversal will be started with the leftmost child of your tree and process it let's return back to 19 because it is not having the right child as well so return back to its parent node and as it is a root node process it and let's check for its right child as it is present step down to right child no left child is present so that's why process 22 as a root node and then return back to the previous level making 25 as a root node once again after making 25 as a root node process it and let's check for its right child as right child is present step down to the right child and make it as a root node for 36 no left child is present so directly process 36 as a root node no right child is present hence move to the previous level and make 56 as a root node and process it for 56 right child is present step down and make it as a root node and as for 65 no left child is present process a root node 65 after this move to the right child as right child is present for a right child left child is also present so that's why step down to its left child and for left child 72 no left child is present make it as a root node and process it return back to its parent node make it as a root node and process it so in this way your in order reversal will be 8 19 22 25 36 56 65 72 and 86 so in this way we have traversed the given tree in in order traversal and let's move forward for the third technique of the depth first search traversal is nothing but post order traversal here we have to follow a sequence the root node will be processed after the left and right subtree respectively so the same sequence we will follow over here we'll start from a root node and starting from a root node let's move to the leftmost child and for that leftmost child we'll check whether it is having a right child left child no right child no and we'll that's why this is a root node we have processed it we'll return back to its parent node and we will move to its right child as a right child is present we'll check for the right child here for the right child we'll check for its left child not present right child not present and hence process 22 as a root node and then we will move back to the parent node and will process a root node for this subtree so in this same way after processing 19 we will return back to its parent node we will check for its right child as right child is present we will step down to the right child and for right child 36 no left child is present no right child is present make it as a root node and process it return back to parent node make it as a root node and process it 
After that, return back to its parent node 56. Let's check for its right child. As right child is present, we'll step down to the right child. For this right child, we will make it as a root node. No left child is present, but right child is present. We'll step down to right child. After that, we'll make it as a root node. After making it, it as a root node, let's check for its left child. As it is present, we'll step down to left child first of all. As for 72, no left child is present, no right child is present. We will process the root node 72. After that, we'll return to its parent node 86. No right child is present. Hence, we'll process 86 as a root node. Return back to its parent node 65. We have done with its right subtree as well. Now it's turn to process a root node 65. So process it. And at the end, the root node of this tree 56 will return back to that and will process it. So in this way, we have done with the post order reversal of a binary search tree, constructed binary search tree 8, 22, 19, 36, 25, then 72, 86, 65 and 56. So in this way, we have done with the post order reversal. Now, as we have seen, we, the all the techniques which are useful for the depth first search traversal. Now, let's go forward for the breadth first search traversal technique. So, let's focus on this one for the traversal of the constructed binary search tree. I repeat, this traversal technique is also helpful for the traversal of any of the binary tree. In this video series, I am focusing on a binary search tree. That's why I am using the word continuously. That let's traverse the binary search tree. But keep in mind, this is also the technique which is helpful for the traversal of a, any binary tree. Now for the level order traversal, this the breadth first search traversal is also called as level order, order traversal. And again, we have to start with the bar we have to start with the root node of a binary search tree which is 56 we will traverse this tree level wise so this is the root level then the first level then all the nodes which are present in the second level and all the nodes present in a next level in this way we will start the traversal so let's traverse a root node first then move to the next level from the leftmost child of the next level and process it then its next node in the same level and we will process it as we have done with both the nodes in the level 1 let's move to the next level 19 and process it a next node into the same level 36 and process it next node 86 and process it then 8 process it then 22 and last one is 72 so in this way we can traverse the given tree into the level order traversal I hope you must have understood the concept of level order traversal of the binary tree. So thank you friends for listening this video and watching this video. If you like the content and the video, please do not forget to give the comment. You can share this link with your friends. Here I am providing you a shortcut link for the subscription of my channel Tech Talks along with the next video of this video series and the whole video series I am providing you in the form of playlist. Thank you. Happy data structuring. Happy learning. Thank you.